everybody, AmpReparGuy.com. So I'm waiting on tubes. Nothing I can really do with the amps on the bench until I get the tubes in. I have lots of others in the boxes. Sorry, everybody. I just, you know, just waiting. Once I get the tubes, I'll get these tested. Then I'll get more on the bench. Uh, I had a snowstorm here, so uh, some stuff got delayed. I guess there were uh, storms all over the United States, so that just slowed shipping down on stuff. So figured I'd work on the power supply a little bit. So I'm going to explain what I did here. Here's the line cord. It's number two. I crimped and soldered these connections on here, the ring terminals. This wire will be pulled in. This is a strain relief, but pull it in. It'll be clamped to the back wall over here. These leads will be bent over and connected to the studs here. And uh, other connections will be made there, but I'll explain those as you know, as time goes by when I get to that point. So I ended up using, I know it's overkill, but I wanted as little line drop as possible on the inside of the cabinet. So I tripled up a number eight Teflon wire, silver plated stranded center conductor. I got like hundreds of feet of it, so why not, right? Once again, clamped soldered, one ring terminal, one per side. This will be clamped to the wall with plastic clamps. It's just temporarily snug down to so three per side, like I said. Then also this will be clamped, and I'll have those uh, stick-on things that a zip tie goes on to connect it. And these are temporary quarter-inch bolts. So you have the common, and I'm not sure what he has for line voltage, and we're going to line it up. So uh, line the primary and secondary up so it is, clo it is as close to the 5500 loaded 5500 DC when the supply is loaded as uh, possible that's where the output network is tuned so you can go from here to here you know this one stays here and then I can juggle this one between the three so the filter caps are secured to the wood like I showed before that will pop out if gosh forbid there was ever an issue I've never had an issue with one of these but so that's that for now the filament transformers are going right here I just want to get this all set and uh, I think next thing I'll do is connect the wires to the Variac for the primary filament transformer to fine tune that and then put the right angle drive. This just takes time, you know, believe it or not. Stripping the wires, crimping, soldering, all that, this takes a lot of time. You know, so, so I'll do that, then I'll put the transformers in. I'm going to run the wire from the secondary of the transformers up through feed throughs with the SuperCon connector on the end to plug into the RF deck, you'll have the cathode return. But I'll go over all that stuff. So just wanted to show you guys real quick. I'm waiting on another contactor, a two-pole one, and that'll get mounted right here. Also 240 coil. Everything runs on 240 in here, so I only need the both hots and the ground. I don't need a neutral. And I'll have the soft start, so I'll put the soft start in, get that all set. It's like the so same soft start in the um, the power supply I've labeled 36 10,087 on my YouTube channel, so check that out. But, uh, so, so it's getting there just little by little. Um, have it all dialed into my head, and you know, I'll put the line fuses on the back. It's going to be set up so, uh, you know, if the blower, there's a pressure interlock, and, uh, nothing comes on until blower comes up to speed and blower blower will have its own fuse so if the fuse pops for the filament transformer you know the line fuse that protects everything else you know the smaller stuff if that were to pop the blower will continue to run everything will just shut off so but little by little I'll uh, see you soon website is amprepairguy.com 203-892-4119 and just point out these zip ties are temporary. Everything has to be like super organized and zip tied and clamped and everything. Just even though no one will see the inside, well, customer will, but you know, I just everything has to be nice. So, but I've not added the switch yet. I'll do that too. So, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos as they go up. As you can see, lots of amps here.
just all over the place. So I will uh, show you the workbench. Just lots. Never ends, but I'm waiting on tubes. Can't do anything without the tubes. So thanks for watching. I'll be back soon. 203-892-4119. Catch you later.